Good morning everyone. Today we are doing a little bit of a different video. We're doing a declutter. My first declutter. Because I'm realizing I have a few too many lipsticks. At least for me. So yeah, we're going to start. Um, it might end up being a little bit more of a collection, but Hopefully, we're going to declutter a few things. I think I want to start with my traditional lipsticks versus my liquid lipsticks, and then we're just going to we're going to see where it takes us. So, let's get them all out and just see where it goes. So, I'm going to start. I have a pile off screen that came from some drawers, so I'm going to pull some traditional lipsticks from that pile. I'm going to try to do swatches of everything, so. Alright. That is my pile of traditional lipsticks. So, I guess we'll just get started. We're going to start with the things that I know I'm going to keep. So, number one is going to be my Bite lipsticks. I know I'm going to keep these. This is Sake. Sake is this really pretty kind of dusty plum. You can see it's like a mauve. Love that color. That is staying. Then I have thistle, which is like a grayish, gray plum. Also staying. I don't have a color. Well, I don't have a color like that in bullet form. Then I have some baby bites. I have <clears throat> I have beetroot, which is gorgeous. Really pretty raspberry fig, which is a perfect pink, very light pink. I have meringue which is a dustier, more nude-toned pink. You can see. Those are my baby bites, and I have, oh, where did they go? Oh, there they are. I have two of these, like, double-ended baby bites. I have one that ends in sour cherry and gold, which is like a holiday one. Sour cherry is this really pretty red. I did wear over the holidays and gold is predictably gold which is just like a glitter overlay which is kind of cool it is hard to wear over things though but it does actually look really pretty on the lips so I'm keeping that and the other double ended is actually a fig and a date which I'm not going to swatch fig again but I will swatch date which is another Kind of pinky, pinky whatever, pinky nude, which I, I probably don't need to keep this, but I'm going to keep it because it's bite, which isn't, isn't starting us off very well, but I'm keeping it. Um, then I have some of these older bite lipsticks that I got from TJ Maxx. I'm going to move that a little bit so you can see a little better. Um, this is Caramel. Which is a nude that I actually really like. Oh, hold on. That's, that's pretty similar to... That's pretty similar to Date. In the... I might have to rethink this. I'm going to stick this in a maybe pile. Because if I have this in a full size, and it's that similar to date, it doesn't look super similar on camera, but in person it looks really similar. It looks more pinky here, but in, in person there's like virtually no difference. Um, then this is uh, Mokka. M-O-K-C. I mean, K. Yeah, M-O-K-C. 
I mean, K-A, whatever. And it's like a dark brown, kind of a brown red, you know? It's very pretty. I got a lot of nudes in here. And this is pecan. Which is another pretty pinky nude. So those are all really good everyday shades. And then my last bite in the solid form is lychee. And this is like a, um, a balm. You can see it has this little hydrating core. And it doesn't really show up because again it's a, it's a balm. But it has a slight pinky tint to it. So I'm keeping that because that's one that one's really nice to throw into my purse. So keeping that. So I kept all my bites, which isn't super ideal, but it's it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move on to my Kat Von D because I think we can get rid of a few here. Okay, this is Lolita, our OG Lolita. Which, I mean, it's it's not OG Lolita as in the color, but I think this is like the original. It might be the original color, because I bought it a long time ago. Like, it's fine. It's fine. I just don't wear these. This is the old formula. Um, and that's, that's actually pretty similar to, oops, Maka up there. And I just like the bite formula better. Um, I honestly have to think about all of the Kat Von D. This is Hellbent. Which is a pretty red, but it is a little streaky. And like you can see, this is brand new. I picked up quite a few of these at TJ Maxx when they um, were being discontinued. This is Motorhead. Motorhead is a really vampy dark plum. This is Chula, which I really like Chula. It's not a color I usually wear because it's a it's a brownie red, which I don't have a lot of, but I really enjoy. Chula I'm gonna keep. This is Lovecraft which is a really pretty dusty rose. You can see there. I'm going to keep Lovecraft. This is Wolf's Mouth, which is a metallic... It's like a metallic um, berry. Which, I'm going to... I'm not a real fan of the metallic bullets. And this is Magic, which is a glittery pink, which a lot of people don't like this one, but I actually kind of like this one. I actually find it a little smoother than the other ones. I'm going to keep Magic. And I think I'm going to pass on these four. They're just kind of patchy. And... I don't know. Wolf's Mouth I might keep still. It's not that patchy. And I do like that color. No, I'm not. Because I don't wear it. I don't wear it. I'm not. I'm not going to hang on to it. I don't wear it. Those three I'm keeping. Those four I'm passing on. Okay. Next... I have these two number seven lipsticks, which these are a great formula at the drugstore. If you have a number seven, um, I think they've been phased out of Ulta, but my Walgreens has them. I know select Walgreens carry number seven. This is Tawny Rose, which is a very pretty, I keep saying very pretty, but it's just a nudie, a nudie pink. I'm sorry if I'm out of frame. That is a great everyday shade if you work in the office or something. And this is Honey Bloom, which is more of a brownie, brownie nude. You can see. 
is a really pretty color. So I'm keeping both of those. I haven't worn them in a while, and maybe once I clear out some of these, I will wear them again. That is my hope. Oh, I have two more Kat Von D. <laughs> these are her original, original lipsticks. Like, wow. I really shouldn't keep these, but I really want to. Um, they don't even have colored names on them. I don't know what colors these are. But this one is like a metallic red. You can see. I think this was like a special one because it's in a different packaging than um, the other one. The other one's in the black. Which, this one is a really pretty... Which actually, that one's really similar to Honey Bloom. But that one's a really pretty nude. I don't wear the metallic red. It's really pretty, but I, I don't wear it. Um, but I really kind of want to keep these for sentimental reasons, because they are some of the first like high-end lipsticks I bought. I think I actually bought them while they were being discontinued, and that was still some of my first Sephora purchases way back before I was really into makeup at all. So I'm keeping these for sentimental reasons, um, even if I don't really reach for them anymore. Okay, I have two MAC lipsticks. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I have Sin, which is a dark vampy color. Here. It's actually pretty similar to, um, which one was it, Motorhead? Yeah, Motorhead. It's a little more brown and warm toned, but it's pretty similar in shade. I actually really like how that color looks on me, so I'm keeping that. I haven't worn these in a while. MAC lipstick doesn't have my fa uh, favorite formula. And then we have uh, Men Love Mystery, which is a purple. Which, sorry, which is really nice. I like, I like this one. These are both mattes. I'm keeping it because I don't have a matte uh, lipstick in that color. Actually, I'm going to compare it to a ColourPop one I have in a minute, but for now I'm keeping it. Alright, I have this Soap and Glory lipstick in Pommy, Pommy Girl? I don't know what that means. It's pink. We're going to see... It's a pretty color. Like, that's a really nice color. I haven't worn it in a while. Um, I don't know. I'm not... I don't wear it. I'm not keeping it. I'm gonna be brutal. Not keeping it. Um, I have this little Marc Jacobs mini that I got in a sample thing. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I love small things. Um, and actually, this one looks like it might be similar to the Soap and Glory color. <laughs> and it is! Look at that! So I'm keeping the Marc Jacobs. This is a little Bare Minerals, uh, kind of sheer. This is Nude Passion. It's a sheer thing. Like, it doesn't even show up. But it's it's good. It's a good throw in your purse. Have something after a meal, but don't want a gloss or full-on lipstick kind of color. So I'm keeping that. Alright, I'm going to clear off these swatches. And then we're going to hit our color pop and uh, lip liners and lip pencils. So, I will return with swatches cleared off. Alright, we are back. We're hitting my color pop. And I actually forgot a couple of bullets, so we're going to hit those too. So, first let's tackle these couple of bullets. I have a Pacifica Balm. This is Color Quench Lip Tint. I really like this. It smells really good. Um, I have mine in... which shade? Which shade is this? Guava Berry. Oh, it looks disgusting. I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> it gives just a very... I don't even know if you can see that, but it gives a very slight tint. And I really like how it feels on the lips, so I'm keeping that. Uh, I have an Alba Botanica no petroleum plant-powered lip care tangerine whatever 
It's a natural, natural lip balm. It's nice keeping it. We're not totally going through my lip balms, but it happened to make it into the pile. Um, I have this Too Faced lipstick in Sweet Maple. It's really kind of glossy, hydrating, nice color. I haven't worn it in a while, but I want to give it another shot. It's kind of old, but, you know. I have this Urban Decay lipstick that is kind of a, it's a sheer, it's in Ladyflower. These have been discontinued. It's a pretty color, but it's kind of patchy, and I don't wear it all that much anymore, so I'm passing on it. I'm probably going to chunk it because it's old. So that one's gone. Um, Alright, I'm going to grab my few lip liners that I have. I have ColourPop's Lumiere, and I'm going to get rid of this one. Not because I don't like it, but because it's broken. It slides in and out, and it's, it's broken. So, that one's going in the trash. Which is unfortunate. I'm going to have to rebuy it. Uh, this is ColourPop Dukes, which is looks kind of terrible right now, but it is a really dark vampy liner, which is good to have for my dark vampy lipsticks that I like to wear. And the tip is broken off in the cap. Awesome. Cool. We have this old NYX nude liner, which again, you know, is just a nude color. Um, I'm actually going to chunk this because I want to rebuy a few NYX liners and get one that's, you know, creamier and a little, little less cheap. This one's just not, it, it tugs. It's not great. Um, this is another ColourPop one in Tulips, which is kind of similar to Duke's, but it's more, it's, it's a little darker and it's more brown toned. So keeping that one. And then I have this one from Model Co, which is another nude and it's a little creamier than the NYX one. So I'm keeping that one. I need more lip liners in my life. Okay, I'm gonna tackle these bite lip crayons real quick. I have Corvina, which is a very bright kind of poppy color. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you already, I'm gonna keep all of these. But um, then I have uh, Meritage, Meritage, I guess is how you say it, which is a really pretty. Um, your lips a better color on me because I have fairly pigmented lips naturally so I really like that one. These were on sale also. I, I think they're, I don't know if they're discontinuing them or what. This is Madeira which is a very light kind of nude, very neutral color. I like that one a lot. I have to use a lip liner with it but um, and this is Grapevine, which I found this one at TJ Maxx. And it's a pretty bright pink. So, keeping those. Time for ColourPop. Get these out of their jar. Okay, we have Brills, which this one's new to my collection. It is a bright purple. I thought it might be too light on me, but uh, it was fine. I like that one a lot. This is Backup, which is a Matte X. Ooh, Matte X is actually a very creamy formula. I need to wear that one more. I like that one. This is Dukes. Dukes is one of those really dark vampy colors. Again, need to wear that one. I like colors like that a lot. Oh, this is Climax. Again, need to wear it more. I forget about it. It's it's a royal blue. You can't really tell on camera, but like, it's, it's a straight up blue. It's quite pretty. Then I have Brink. Not going anywhere because it's also new. It's a nude. It's a very nice nude. I like that one for every day. I have Cami, which is a matte X, which again is a nude. It's more, uh, it's darker and more pink toned. I have I Heart This, 
which is a hot pink. Not going anywhere. Sorry, I'm not getting rid of a whole bunch. Lumiere is my favorite. I almost wore it on my wedding day. Not going anywhere. I have Zhu Rouge. I think I might get rid of Juju Rouge. It's not a bad color by any means, but it's just not, I don't know, it's not my favorite red. And when I wear a red lip, I, I have my favorites. And this just isn't it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. Um, then I have Poppin, which was the anniversary, one of their anniversary lipsticks. And it is also a hot pink. It's in the Maddox formula. Let's see it there. It's a little darker than I Heart This. So keeping both of those. And then I have the primer, which mine is broken, so I'm going to throw that one in the trash. Okay. Now I'm going to go through my glosses because I don't have a whole bunch of those, so I think we can get through them fairly quickly. Alright, I think that is all of my glosses. It should be. I might find one odd somewhere else, but that should be all of my glosses. Okay. I'll tell you right now, I am going to be keeping my Buxom glosses. These are just little minis. Oh, there's the other one. These are little minis I found at TJ Maxx. I hope you can't see them at all. Minis. Mini Buxom Glosses from TJ Maxx. There we go. There are just six of them. Um, and I really enjoy them. They feel great on the lips. They look great on the lips. And I, they're, they're great. So keeping those. This plumping gloss from Soap and Glory is fine. But I don't reach for it. So it's going. Um, same thing with this other one from Soap and Glory. I just like the Buxom ones better now that I have them, so it's gonna go. I have these two glosses from Stila that I've had for a while, and I really like them, so they're staying. This little Jordana one is new, um, and the first time I tried it, I didn't really like it, but I still need to give it a fair shot with some other things, so, um, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep it for now. I have this Bite Gloss, which is a little light on me, but if I use it in moderation, it's fine. It smells and tastes like peaches, so that's great. So I'm gonna keep it for that reason. I have my Milk Makeup Holographic Gloss, which I actually have mixed feelings about. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. So, keeping it. I have these two Alginist anti-aging lip glosses, and I actually really enjoy these. Um, but I don't need to keep both of them, so I think I'm actually going to keep this one. It has a little more pigment to it, so the other one I think I'm going to pass on. Alright, now it is time for our liquid lipsticks. I'm going to start with the ones that I'm absolutely going to keep. And they're my favorite. They're my favorite formula. These are my Black Moon Cosmetic liquid lipsticks. And they are my favorite liquid lipsticks, as I have mentioned. I have a few that are getting a little old, but I'm still keeping them because I don't want to get rid of them. Um, I love their formula. I think some people might find it a little drying, but I do not. Um, I think they have gorgeous and unique colors, and I love them. So I'm just going to start with some of the more natural colors and then go into the more intense colors. This is Libra. Which is their like universal nude. see 
It's a really nice, kind of chestnutty natural nude. This is my favorite one. And this is Wrath. Wrath is a darker, a little more peak toned nude. Compared to Libra, get closer here. Might be better to show them once they dry, but that kind of ends our natural colors. Um, then we have Ghost, and Ghost is a nice kind of dusty purple. And it's followed by Purgatory, which Purgatory almost looks black on the lips, but it's a really deep, deep purple. Then we have Sleepwalker, which is a black. And it is the best black. It is the best black lipstick I have tried. I love, love that black. And then we have my favorite red of all time, which is Sanguis. It's absolutely beautiful. It has a very slight sheen to it. You can see it a little bit in the swatch. But it is a gorgeous red. They have some really great reds. That's it for their matte shades. The rest I have are metallic. They have a black metals collection that most of these are from. This is Celine, which is not part of that collection. But it is kind of a deep purpley shade that has a sheen to it see it's a fairly subtle metallic but it's very nice and then I have three from their metals collection this is immortal which is the purple and when these dry you can like rub your finger on them and they'll look even more metallic this one is sorrow which is the blue which is gorgeous on the lips. You can see. I'll rub it once it dries. This is Armageddon, which is the kind of red, which is the most natural of them. I guess you could say. It's very nice. And this is Genie, which is a hot pink with kind of a blue sheen to it. And last is their topper, which is Luna. And this topper is really interesting because it dries matte. It also smells like cherries. I'm not super a fan of because I don't like cherry, but you can see it there. Let me get closer. Luna is really pretty on top of these shades. I'm actually, I'm gonna, once Sleepwalker dries, I'll put it on top of Sleepwalker and show you. Is it dry? No, it is not dry. Anyway, I'm keeping all of my Black Moon uh, lipsticks, so none of those are leaving uh, but I can tell you some that are uh, my wet and wild liquid cat suits these aren't bad they're not they're fine I got sucked into the hype um, but I don't love them 
this is Coral Corruption. Whoop, not there. Coral Corruption. Followed by Barry Recognize. Barry Recognize is actually pretty. Oh, it is making noises at me. Why is it doing that? Hmm. I don't trust that. There's like air in the tube. Then we have... Gimme Mocha. Which Gimme Mocha um, is really similar to Kat Von D's Lolita. It has a slightly different undertone to it. Oh, it's actually kind of sheer. But it has that kind of chestnutty color to it. We have Rebel Rose, which was the kind of uh, popular color. There. Kind of a pinky, dusty rose. And then we have Missy and Fierce, which is their red, or a red. It's very bright. You know, whatever. And I don't know, these just, they're fine, but I just don't wear them. So, you know, I keep them. Um, I do like very recognized, but again, I just know. I know I'm not going to wear them, so I'm not going to keep them. They weren't that expensive. Um, and I just don't need to hold on to them when I know I'm not going to wear them. They're just taking up space. So, they're leaving. I have a few minis here before I get into my tin. Um, I have Milani's Adorable. This isn't a mini, but... I'm actually see what it looks like next to Rebel Rose. It's lighter. Okay. I want to compare this to a few that I have picked up recently. I'm on the quest for a nude that I actually really like, so I'm going to keep that out for comparison. I have this Too Faced Melted Chocolate lipstick that I've had for years, and I already got rid of one of these because it was old and kind of smelled off. This one doesn't smell off yet, but I don't wear it, and I don't want to keep it, so I'm not on it. I have this little baby Tardist uh, lip paint. I'm going to keep it for now as part of my birthday gift from Sephora. I have this little Meet Matt Hughes from The Balm, and I think this is, oh, this isn't committed. I love this color on me. I really should buy the full size, um, but I haven't yet. It's almost gone, but I want to keep it because I want to remind myself to get the full size because it's a gorgeous color on me. So, yeah. Now we're moving on to my tin, which is a cute little tin with cactuses on it that had my fossil watch in it. So, that's what that is. Sleepwalker dry yet? Okay, Sleepwalker is dry. So, I'm going to put Luna over it real quick to show you can see she just is really pretty over stuff and it looks even better on the lips versus you know that okay cleaning off our hand again for this last round I knew the liquid lipstick round was gonna be tough okay we've got a little bit of a stain but that's fine I'm just gonna dump these out First things first, I have this pure lip lure that I got in a BoxyCharm when I was still subscribed to BoxyCharm. I've held on to it. What end am I pulling here? I've held on to it because it's a unique color to my collection. It's kind of a brownie orangey, whoops, you can't even see, a brownie orangey color. But honestly, the applicator is weird. It's kind of gross. It, I, I don't really like it, so I'm throwing it away. It's weird. I don't like it. Uh, next are some uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks that I picked up at TJ Maxx. 
Um, this one I'm getting rid of because it is way too light for me. This is in Milkshake. It just, it's just not a good color on me. It looks darker in the tube than what it was, but it's lighter than my hand and it does not look good on me. So that one's going. I don't know who that color is for. So the other two I got, I do like. I have Catnip. which is a pretty kind of soft lilac. And then I have the one that is actually soft lilac. <laughs> These are actually really similar shades. Soft lilac is a little lighter. Catnip is a little darker. But they're fairly similar. Uh, I know a lot of people have said they don't like that formula, but I like it pretty well. I have my last two Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I have Baja, wait, no, Berlin. I thought it was Baja, so it's Berlin. Which I really probably should get rid of. This is the first one I ever owned. Uh, it's such a pretty color. I should get rid of it. I don't wear it. I don't wear it. And bow and arrow. The problem is, is that I know they're old. I know they're old. I'm paranoid that they smell funny. I've just had them for years and I don't know if they're good. They, they, the consistency seems fine, but I don't know whether or not they smell off. And so I don't wear them, but I don't want to get rid of them because they're pretty, but I'm not wearing them. I'm gonna throw them away. I need to. I need to throw them away. They're old. They're old. They're old. Liquid lipsticks don't keep that long. And I need, I need to. Okay. Next I have my Bite uh, lipsticks. This one is Pianza, which is an older liquid lipstick type situation. This one is a kind of a hot pink color, and I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Um, these formulas are kind of not good. <laughs> They're kind of chunky and stiff and just hard to work with. It's a really pretty color, but um, it's just not great. So, I don't like that one. These two, however, are their new liquefied liquid lipsticks, and I love them. They are my favorite. This is Chutney. Which is a really pretty neutral brown, browny, browny nude. Focus. Thank you. And then we have um, the Movember from last year, which I love. I love the Movember. It's kind of similar to the two Anastasia shades, but this formula is, you know, more like a traditional lipstick. There we go. So, I'm keeping my two bites, definitely. Um, I have these two NYX, uh, lip lingerie, uh, what are they, lip lingerie? Just NYX lingerie? Lip, yeah, lip lingerie, whatever. Um, I have Bedtime Flirt. which is a good nude. And I have embellishment, which is a nice grayish. Love me a grayish. Um, I don't like this formula. I will tell you that. I find it slippery and thick. Um, but I do really like these colors, so I'm gonna keep them. I can handle working with a tough formula to get colors I like. Let's go ahead and handle my other NYX ones. I have three of the Cosmic Metals, which I think these are really cool. Um, I just discovered them because I'm late. Um, this is Elite, which is a metallic 
like gray brown. Let's see if you can you see it. There you go. A lot of them are shiny, so it's hard to see, but it's metallic gray brown. Then we have Asteroid Aura, which is a purple. Asteroid Aura. And you can get these pretty opaque. Uh, they don't dry down, really. Then we have Electromagnetic, which is a intense teal. I like this one a lot. Focus. That one's really cool. So keeping those. Then I have two Laura Geller lip crayons that I got on Hot Look. I have Mango Sorbet and Dragon Fruit Sorbet. Mango Sorbet is a coral. Dragon Fruit is a pink. I'm going to keep both of them because I really like these in the summer. They're uh, more sheer and they are very hydrating, so they're really good for just popping on then. Uh, then I have three of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. Um, these are fairly new because I've just decided to try these out. So I'm keeping all of them, but I do want to swatch them for you. I have Huntress, which is a new shade. And it is a straight up gray, which is really cool. It's cool to see um, drugstore brands doing colors like this. Like, it's, it's gray. I thought it was going to be like a gray brown given the tube, but it's gray. Then I have Loyalist, which is a light nude. It's almost too light for me, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then I have Dreamer, which is a pink. I don't really like how the applicator sticks in the inside of the bottle, but I can get over it. Dreamer is a really pretty pink. I like pinks. I found these on Super Sale, which is great. Then I have, I'm only down to three ColourPop um, in like the liquid type formula because they go bad so fast. Um, I have Prim. Which, smell test, still smells okay. Prim is a dark red. Focus. Dark red. Pretty color. I have Barracuda, which I really, really like. Barracuda is a brownie. Kind of brownie red. Brick red, I guess really like Barracuda. And I have uh, Wolfie, which is actually a, one of their glossy lips. It has a really pretty sheen to it. I should put that one with my glosses, but I kind of like to keep like brands together. Um, I think I might get rid of Prim. It was starting to smell a little off and it's a little patchy. So I'm going to keep Wolf, Wolfie and Barracuda, but I'm going to get rid of Prim. Okay, I don't think that was too bad. Um, I wasn't planning on decluttering a whole lot, but I did declutter um, a good amount. I got rid of 27 things. 27 things. So uh, that actually makes me feel pretty good. Given that I don't have a super massive collection, 27 is pretty nice considering when I do a casual declutter I usually only get rid of one or two things so 27 ain't that bad uh, I don't often do declutters because again I don't have a massive collection but you know I will make sure to share them with you from time to time uh, I am NOT gonna be selling any of these because you know they're lipsticks so calm down um, I'll likely give give some of them away to friends and family who don't mind, you know, sharing makeup. But most of them, I'm probably just gonna chunk. 
because they're likely old and I don't expose anyone to that. So sorry to disappoint, but I hope you'll stick with me for my next video. And until next time, ugh, look at that. Um, <laughs> until next time, remember that you are beautiful and you are loved and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye guys.